Hi, and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to add a delay in between two print statements. So if I currently run my code with these two print statements, you see that they come up at the exact same time. But we don't want that. Instead, we would like to have a delay in between the two print statements. Instead of trying to use a scanner, or trying to calculate nanoseconds, there's a much simpler way that doesn't involve user input or doesn't involve you trying to time the entire program. What you can do, so you can do something like this. You can do thread dot sleep with the number of milliseconds. So right now I want 1000 milliseconds. But as you can see, if I run the code, you get an error. And before I explain the error, let me explain what milliseconds are. In summary, you can just imagine 1000 milliseconds equal to one second. So if you type one into the parentheses, it means one millisecond and not one second. Now, back to the error. The error says in, in interrupted exception. And that just means that you're trying to interrupt the flow of the code. And that's technically what you're doing with trying to add a delay. So you don't want the error to pop up, but you do want the delay. So there's two ways to handle this. One of them is using a try and catch, try and catch like statement, but that might clog up your code. That might make it a little hard to read. So I prefer the second method, which is just adding something to the method header. So what you're going to do is that you're going to say throws in interrupted exception. And this is just the exact same thing that you'll see in the error message. So then when you press run, run you'll see how there is a one second delay in between those print statements. If you do another method, you're going to have to remember to add the throws in an interrupted exception after that header. So I hope you found this helpful in your coding. So enjoy.